Hello, welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you're new here. My name's Trish and I talk about personal style and making the most out of your existing wardrobe. Now, January is a low by month for a lot of us and what better way to get through a low by month than to use what we already have in our own wardrobes. And one of the best sources of inspiration to do just that is Pinterest. I absolutely love Pinterest, I use it all the time and I have at this stage hundreds of images pinned and I find it a really handy go-to even in the morning when I'm struggling to choose an outfit Pinterest is my go-to resource. Now it is a great source of inspiration but I notice that no other creators that I know of anyway talk about how to tweak those Pinterest outfits to make them more flattering for their body types. So that's what I'm going to do today. Now, for those of you who don't know, I'm petite, 157 centimeters or five foot two. And as you can see, I am quite curvy, which can sometimes be challenging to dress. So today I'm going to show you five Pinterest outfits and show you how I tweak those outfits to make them more flattering for my particular body type with the results that I end up looking taller and slimmer. I really hope you'll find these tips useful. So sit back, relax and enjoy while I take you through them. Now, excuse the use of my phone here because I have all of the pinned outfits that I want to speak about here on my phone. So the very first one I'm going to look at is this beautiful outfit. And I should mention, I think these outfits look fantastic on the women who are wearing them. But for my particular body type, there are a couple of tweaks I can make to make them far more flattering on me. Now, this first outfit, she's wearing a grey sweater and some, they look like chino pants. I'm going to use my Oasis pleated pants, which are also a black tapered pant. So very similar to these. She's wearing a pair of Converse. She has a black bag and she's wearing a cropped black jacket. Now, there's a couple of styling notes here that I'd like to point out. So first of all, the cropped jacket is excellent. I think that's very flattering on anybody especially for those of us who are short and in my case who have shorter legs in comparison to their overall height. A long line jacket or a cropped jacket is really, really useful to lengthen my particular silhouette. So the cropped jacket is really good. The grey jumper she's wearing untucked and it's quite low slung over her hips. Now, if I were to wear my grey jumper like that, it would hit me at my widest point, which is not flattering. The pants she's wearing quite low slung on her hips as well. It looks like the there's slightly dropped crotch. And again, that looks fantastic if you have long legs, but in my particular case, I want to avoid that kind of silhouette. And I'll show you how I tweak that in just a moment. Finally, she's wearing a pair of Converse. These are normal. They don't look like, uh, actually, I think they are high tops. They're just unlaced. And so I have a very similar pair. They're the Chuck 70s high tops in black leather. But in my case, they have a platform, which again is very, very useful for balancing out my proportions and lengthening my legs. So how I would tweak this outfit is, first of all, I would use a high-waisted pant and I would bring it right up to my waist. So here I'm wearing my black Oasis pleated trousers. And these trousers are wonderful in that they are high-waisted as I say, they're a beautiful shape, very flattering. They add a lot of length to my legs and in addition they have silver buckle detail which draws attention to my narrowest point which is my waist. So for that reason they're flattering on me. Um, now I want to use those features so I am going to tuck my grey sweater into the Oasis pants and leave that buckle detail visible. That way it gives me shape and definition and lengthens the look of my leg overall, which in turn makes me look both taller and slimmer. I'm going to wear my Converse high tops with the platform. Again, this adds two inches to my leg length, which helps out my overall proportions. And I'll add a back bag to finish the look. I don't have a cropped leather jacket. I only have a leather jacket that hits me at my widest point at my hips. So I am going to leave that jacket off of this outfit and I'm just going to wear it without it. And overall, you can see how these simple tweaks have really, really improved this outfit and made it a lot more flattering on my body type.
The next outfit I'm going to speak about is this one where again she's wearing a long grey sweater, crew neck sweater, a slouchy crossbody bag, a long black dress and chunky boots and she's also wearing a pair of sunglasses for good measure. Again it's a really stylish outfit but it's one that does not look good on me in my opinion. I am simply, I feel that I am too short to pull it off. So I need to style this outfit in a way that will work better on my body type and be more flattering overall. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap out the sweater first of all from a crew neck sweater to a v-neck sweater. I do have a larger bust so a v-neck breaks up that large bust and creates a more balanced proportion. It also allows me to show off my jewellery that bit better which I really enjoy doing. And I'm wearing my gold padlock necklace from Misoma here. For the black dress, I'm not sure if she's wearing a dress or a skirt, but in my case I am wearing a silk dress from Lily Silk and I have belted it in the middle and I, I'm then tucking my sweater into the belt. So again, it draws the eye up, it creates a cinch at my narrowest point at my waist and again, it, that silhouette lengthens my legs overall. So it makes me look, so it makes the outfit look a lot more balanced on my particular body type. Finally, I'm going to swap out the chunky boots for these beautiful knee-high boots from Paul Smith. These have a slight block heel. So again, adding those few inches to my legs is very good for my overall proportions and balances out the outfit. Finally, to finish off the look, I'm just going to wear my DKNY bag crossbody. Wearing something crossbody again accentuates your waist, at least in my case it does. So it really does finish off the look and make it more flattering overall. So I'm really happy with how this outfit turned out and you can see how with just a few simple tweaks, it's possible to make me look both taller and slimmer, even by using the same or similar pieces. next outfit I'm going to speak about is this one and it's a particularly beautiful one with a striped sweater. You can see that it's a half zip sweater, she has it zipped up to the top so she's not showing any collarbone or neckline. She's wearing a what looks like a black bull coat over the whole thing and black leggings, a simple cross, black crossbody bag and loafers. Now, as I said at the beginning, I have short legs in comparison to my overall height. And what that means is that, frankly, loafers do not look good on my particular frame. My legs aren't long and slender and the kind of boxier, chunkier silhouette of the loafer does not complement my particular leg shape, in my opinion. Um, in addition, a black loafer has a high contrast. So you have that black, kind of shape at the end of my leg that cuts off my leg and it looks as though my leg only begins at the ankle and that shortens the overall look of my leg. And finally, that black loafer, any loafer will have a high vamp, meaning that the front of it will come right up the foot and that has the same leg shortening effect. So I keep these loafers in my wardrobe for demonstration purposes only. I actually don't wear loafers. I find they don't work on my own particular body shape. They do me no favours at all, even though I do think they look beautiful on other people, but they do not look beautiful on me. So the first thing I do when recreating this outfit is I will swap out the loafers for my chunky boots. Now these add the kind of chunk to the bottom of the outfit, which I think is really needed to balance it out overall, because this outfit is very top heavy with the wool coat and the chunky sweater. I wear my black leggings from Everlane and my trusty DKNY quilted, quilted leather bag, of course. And I'll also use my Leontine sweater. Now, the leggings from Everlane are high-waisted. And again, because I want to lengthen my leg and give my body some shape and definition, I will accentuate that high-waisted style by tucking my Leontine sweater into that belt. The other tweak I will make to the Leontine sweater is Instead of having it closed all the way up to the top, as she does in this photo, I am going to open up the neckline. And um, you can see these beautiful tortoise shell buttons at the front. You can open or close them as you like. So I am going to partially open them. It allows me to show off my jewelry. And as I said, it breaks up my larger bust and creates just a longer look overall. 
I'll throw my Hobbs wool coat over the whole thing and I'm ready to rock. And, and I'm really happy with how these tweaks have really improved this outfit for my particular body shape. If you're enjoying this video so far, remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, do subscribe to the channel. We are a lovely, friendly, growing community. And I'd love to reach 2,000 subscribers in the next month or two. So this next look is a look I've had pinned on my board for years. It's always appealed to me, particularly because the style of blazer she's wearing reminds me of the Balmain blazer. Maybe it is the Balmain blazer, actually. I'm not sure. But I love that super fitted, tailored style. And the gold buttons are a beautiful detail on this particular blazer as well. So I have a very similar version from Karen Millen. It's in the same beautiful navy color, which suits my color palette and my skin tone. And I'm wearing it with the blue and white striped shirt, very similar to the one she has here as well. I'm leaving the shirt slightly open at the neckline for the reasons I spoke about before. And again, it allows me to show off my jewelry and it's a very comfortable and flattering way for me particularly to wear a shirt. I love how she's pulled the shirt sleeves out um, from the blazer sleeves and tucked them over the sleeves. It's a really beautiful detail. So I'm going to replicate that here as well. And she has rolled the sleeves up her arms as well. That allows me to show off my wrists, which again are a narrow point on my body. So it's always very flattering for me to show off the narrow points. It's very flattering for anybody to show off the narrowest points in their of their body. And of course, it allows me to show off my watch and my jewelry as well. Now, the biggest thing I would change here is that the jeans she is wearing are low rise jeans. And for somebody like me with short legs in comparison to their overall height, low rise jeans are something I want to avoid completely. So I have swapped these out and instead I'm using my high rise jeans from And Other Stories. These are called a favorite cut cropped and they do seem to be sold out at the moment. But And Other Stories have many different versions of high rise jeans to choose from. These particular ones are 99% cotton and 1% elastane. So they have a tiny bit of stretch, but not too much. So these are a really beautiful fabric composition and I'm expecting them to last a very long time. So overall, this is a very simple outfit with a lovely high-low mix of the tailored elements, the shirt and the blazer, juxtaposed with the more casual jeans. It's a very balanced, harmonious outfit and flattering to wear as well. So I'm very happy with this one. Finally, I'm going to speak about this outfit where Again, she's wearing a long black either skirt or dress made out of satin or silk. So it's got that beautiful glossy texture. She's wearing black chunky boots. She's wearing a very voluminous black um, roll neck sweater, black sunglasses, a black bag and a long grey wool coat. Uh, now I have all of the elements I need to recreate this particular look. But I will show you how I will tweak it um, to make it more flattering for me. So a couple of styling notes on this. Uh, first of all, the roll neck sweater is worn down over her hips. Now, I've mentioned it before, but my hips are my widest point. I do not want to draw attention to those because it just makes me look broader overall. I do want to avoid that. The long line coat is very good for the reasons I mentioned at the beginning. A long line piece will lengthen our overall frame. So this long coat is very beautiful on this and it's certainly an element I will be keeping when I recreate this outfit. So the main thing I will change here is the position of the end of the sweater. So again, I'm using my black silk dress from Lily Silk and instead of the chunky boots, I'm going to swap them out for my Paul Smith knee high boots again. I got these from the Outnet on sale, by the way, they were an absolute bargain. So it's always worth looking out on places like the Outnet for really good value, especially at this time of year. These have low block heel, as I say, and I also love how they have a flash of pink on the sole, which I think is a really unexpected and beautiful detail. I'm going to belt this dress again. Here I'm going to use my Valentino belt because there is some gold hardware on the front and that gold hardware will draw the eye to my waist, which is something I want to do um, to create a more balanced overall proportion for this outfit. And I'll tuck my black turtleneck sweater into that belt. 
and over it all I've got my beautiful Ted Baker wool coat. Now I would prefer if this coat were a little bit longer, I'd prefer if it hit me mid calf or even slightly lower but as it is it does come below the knee so I'm happy with that length. I'm finishing off the look with my black tote bag from Mansur Gavriel and my black Ray-Ban sunglasses as well so I'm really happy with how this look came together. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you found some of the tips useful. If you want to see more check out this previous video I also made on where I recreate some different Pinterest outfits. As always thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!